So today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It is a full face drugstore makeup tutorial. So everything on my face you can find at the drugstore and I'm also using affordable brushes as well. None of these brushes are expensive. They're all affordable. By the way, I'm totally loving these Wet n Wild brushes. They're extremely high quality. They're quality, high quality. And so inexpensive. So anyway, if you want to see how to get this really pretty purpley eyeshadow look using the brand new Milani palette in Plum Basics, then just keep watching. So I wanted to show you, I used drugstore products on my brows. I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and the Easy Brow by Milani. And now I'm going to jump into the tutorial. I'm gonna prime my face with the Maybelline Master Prime in Smoothing, and then I'm gonna go over it with the Color Tattoo. These are like the new color tattoos that are in a stick chubby form. They're pretty good. I have to say I like the pots just a little bit better. And then I'm just blending that out with a Real Techniques brush. Then I'm gonna go into the Milani palette. I'm pretty sure it's called Plum Basics. I'm not sure, I'll have all the names of everything listed below. But I'm gonna take a crease brush. This is from LA Colors. This brush was like $2 at the Family Dollar. And it came with another brush. It's a really great brush by LA Colors. So I'm just buffing this into my crease. And then I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's a matte vanilla shade. And I'm taking my little Delium Tools brush. This is a 776. It's really similar to a MAC 217. And then I'm gonna go back into that gray color I used earlier. And I'm gonna start buffing this and blending this in. This is a Morphe, what is it? MB23. Very inexpensive. Now with my little e.l.f. $1 brush, I'm gonna dip it into that purple and I'm gonna start applying this color to my entire, entire lid. So I'm gonna put like a pop of color on the center of my eyeball and I want it to really, really stick. So I'm taking my e.l.f. glitter primer and I'm applying just a little bit of that right in the center so that the eyeshadow I put down really sticks to it. And I'm gonna take this eyeshadow right here. It's super glittery and beautiful, but it needs a very sticky base because if not, it's not that pigmented. And the brush I'm using is new from Wet n Wild and it is their small concealer brush. And I really like this for packing on pigments or things like that. I went back in with my little e.l.f. brush and back into that purple and I just intensified everything in case it got blended away. And then back into that Morphe brush and just blended things out. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna do a very, very, very thin line. This is the Wet n Wild Felt Tip Eyeliner. And this is in black. So I just, you know, created a little wing and then filled it all in. So I'm gonna move on to, oh no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Matte Matic eyeliner and tight line with this before I move on to my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna prime. This is the Milani Prime Perfection. This is the hydrating one. They have one for oily skin, but since I have dry skin, I chose this one. And then I'm gonna go in with this foundation. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation, but it's a little too dark for me. And I know that this product is in drugstore. This is the, um, the Body Shop lightening thing. It's like to lighten your foundation. And I know that it is in drugstore, but I didn't have a drugstore foundation that's as white as I am currently. So I had to mix it with those drops. And then I mixed it all together and applied it to my face. The brush I'm using here is amazing and I highly recommend every single person to purchase it. It's the new Wet n Wild Flat Top Kabuki. I have very little shedding. It's amazing, 20 times better than the new Revlon brushes and the Revlon brushes are a lot more expensive. I highly recommend the Wet n Wild brushes. So now I'm gonna apply some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm gonna take the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in very light, I believe that's what shade I have. And then on top of it, I'm gonna take this new Wet n Wild Illuminati Illuminating <laughs> Highlighter Pen in Ivory Into You. That's the name of it, Ivory Into You. And I'm layering those two together because I feel like the Rimmel Concealer is not light enough to highlight. And I'm just blending that in with a Real Techniques contour brush. Okay, so I'm gonna set that with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 Creamy Natural. And the brush I'm using to set that is the Real Techniques Setting Brush. I'm setting everywhere I put the concealer. So underneath my eyes, in between my eyebrows, my nose, around my mouth, anywhere I put the concealer, I wanna make sure I set it so it doesn't crease or get into the fine lines. 
Okay, back to the palette. I'm taking a pencil brush. I could not find an affordable pencil brush anywhere. So this one is from Makeup Geek and I just buffed that gray color underneath my lower lash line. And then I took the L'Oreal Matematic Eyeliner again and I applied this to my waterline. I'm gonna take this really stunning matte purple in the palette and I'm just gonna buff right over that gray just to give it a little bit more dimension and it looks a little bit deeper. And then I'm gonna use this cool little thing that Wet n Wild came out with. It's like two mascaras. One is a regular mascara, which you apply that first, and then you take this right here, which is like a fiber mascara. It puts a bunch of little white fibers all over your lashes, and then you go in with your mascara one more time. So it makes like really, really thick, voluminous lashes. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I don't hate it, so that's good. All right, so now I'm moving on to my face. I didn't even want to bronze today for some weird reason. Like I didn't want to apply much bronzer or contour at all. So I took this tiny little stippling brush from Wet n Wild and I dipped it into the cool shade in my e.l.f. contour palette. And I'm just lightly contouring my cheekbones just to define them a little bit. But for some reason, I wanted to be a little bit more glowy than bronzed, which is really rare and weird, but I went with it. So after I contoured a little bit, I took this um, super BB or like Insta Ready Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It's a very, very light shade. It doesn't have too much color payoff, but I really do like it. And I'm applying that with a Wet n Wild brush. Unfortunately, these brushes don't have names or numbers on them, but it's I think it's the blush brush. It said it on the packaging, but I threw that away. Okay, so now my favorite part is highlighting. I'm taking my Physicians Formula shimmer strip in Miami strip and I'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones with this up and up brush from Target. I love this brush for highlighting. It's almost identical to the Anastasia one but I like it even more and it's a lot more affordable. So I'm highlighting all over my face. All over my face I'm highlighting. And I'm going in with blush and this is in the shade medium rose. This blush is from CoverGirl. And I'm just applying that to my cheeks with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I love the combination of this highlight and this blush. I just feel like it makes your skin look fresh and glowy and so pretty. So I started filling in my entire lips with this Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude. One of my favorite lip liners and it's like $2. It's amazing. And then I topped it off with this NYX Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Pie. And then that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!